Hello and welcome to the Chart of the Week video with me, David Madden. Today's date is Wednesday the 28th of November 2018 and the time is just gone 9.45 GMT. This week's Chart of the Week is the S&P 500. And starting off, we take, if we take a look at the chart here on a longer term view, um, if we draw a, a trend line between the lows of February 2016 and the lows of November 2016, you get this trend line here. And as you can see, uh, this trend line was well respected uh, back in late October. The market bounced off of this trend line, it pushed higher, but then again, the market turned over on itself again, as you can see. And once again, for the fourth time, uh, we, we, this, this trend line has been respected. Um, so as you can see here, um, while the market holds above the, this trend line, uh, it's likely we could see the, the, bullish, the bullish move uh, and, the, and the upward move continue from these levels. Um, so if you do continue to push on higher from here, we could be looking at retesting this red line here, which is the 200-day moving average, and that comes to play at 2,762. And if we go beyond that, uh, we could be looking at targeting 2,800. It's a big psychological number. And if we go beyond that, uh, we could be looking at, at uh, retesting the early November high, which comes to play at 2,817. And that pretty much coincides with this yellow line here, the 100-day moving average. Uh, should we see any move to the downside, uh, and the market does manage to drop back below uh, the, this trend line here, the trend line support here, uh, we could be looking at uh, heading back down towards 2,600, and then, and, and then should we see a sizable break below 2,600, that would be the, then creating a new multi-month low, and we could we could look at heading back down towards this area here, a level not seen since early April at uh, 2,553, and if you go below, below that, we could be looking at heading back down towards uh, the lows of 2018 back in February, uh, which come into play at 2,532, and of course, a break below that uh, would obviously would be fair, a fairly um, bearish indicator. Uh, if you are going to be trading the S&P 500, it is worth noting, it is worth keeping an eye on what's what's going on with the Dow Jones, because as we can see here on the S&P 500, uh, it is above its trendline support here, and it's also the lows of of late November have also been higher than the lows of late October. So if you take a look what's going on on the uh, on the Dow Jones we can see something similar is playing out and taking a look at the Dow Jones if you draw a line a trend line between the lows of February 26 of, Feb, of, of, of the lows of February March April and May we get this trend line here now granted the market did manage to trade below it uh, in in October but the managed the market held close above it had a fairly decent um, bounce off of that trend line. Granted, we have spent a few sessions trading below the trend line, but we're back above it again. And as you can see, we can see a reasonably similar uh, pattern of the chart here, whereby the market is back above this trend line support, and also the lows of late November have also actually above the lows that were created in late October. So uh, according to the Dow theory, uh, the averages must confirm each other. So if you are trading the S&P 500, it is worth keeping an eye on the what's going on with the Dow Jones, because while the S&P 500 is above uh, its trendline support and the lows of November are above the lows of October, should we, if, you, if you see that replicated on the Dow, uh, if the Dow is above, if, if, the lows, if the lows of November are above the lows of October, and if the, and if the Dow is above its trendline its, its, uh, trend support, that bodes well for the S&P 500. If one is above its trendline support and the other is below it, that makes it a bit less. Uh, uh, that, that, that creates a bit of an ind indecision, and if both are fall below the respective trendline supports, that uh, you, you could then become more confident uh, that, that the market is then heading south from there. If you're going to be trading the S&P 500 or, or indeed uh, the Dow Jones, it is worth keeping an eye out for economic updates and uh, central bank updates from the United States. Later on today, we have uh, a GDP reading from the United States, and we also have an update from Jerome Powell, the head of the Federal Reserve. Uh, if you have any comments to make on this video or any of the other videos we've made here at CMC Marcus, please feel free to leave a review on Google Reviews. And that's all for me today. Thank you very much.